We're at the Singalese Cricket Club day two. We've had a couple of hours, a couple of hours of work with Murley, um, which has been just as productive as it was yesterday. So it's been a fantastic day. The spot. So warm up elsewhere. This is your business. This is yeah, your this office. Is you come in and you do. Yeah, warm up means you relax yourself. The bowling. When you start bowling, everything has to be be serious. And if you do that, and automatically you do yourself very quickly. Um, Murley's been great, you know, we've got guys at different levels here and um, with Nathan he's been talking, well, he loves Nathan's stock ball and um, so for him it's talk, working with a few variations and, and talking tactically and how to, how to bowl to the Pakistani batsman, starting to get that into his mind. And then with the younger guys, um, some more technique type, type things. Um, but it's been really enlightening for me to hear him talking about the same things that I've been talking to them about, so it's been uh, great reinforcement. Uh, if you bowl with the seam, doesn't dip come, only the curve. Uh, with the scramble, always comes dip. Always comes dip, but not as much curve. Not much curve. It's uh, pretty interesting to be mocked up and uh, talking to one of the greats. So it was a fantastic insight and hopefully uh, some, some people out there get to actually hear some uh, words of uh, wisdom from the great men. And also try the variation with the scramble scene. Flick ball scramble scene? No, no. Just a scramble seam with the uh, for the hospital. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been doing stock ball with the seam, my normal seam, stock ball with the cross seam, arm ball, and flick ball. I also do the same thing. No, it's just talking about my wrist position at the top of the where at my release point. So um, yeah, no, it's pretty interesting to hear him talk about it. Oh, Bob. Jeff? So you feel comfortable now? Yeah, I, I like the idea you say flick ball and finish short. I like it. It goes nicely. It's a little project for myself to work on. It's work for you and then, then you can... It takes about nice six mate. months, finish. you might spin it as well. I hope so. I well, definitely can't bowl a deucer, so I need to come up with something else. So uh, he's uh, talking to me about flicking one out. So I haven't, haven't named it yet, but uh, it's a work in progress. So I'll have to come up with one there. If batsman is batting, we'll say right hand or off spinner. If I want, I have fielders here. I will always try to bowl off and spinning in, try to hit the middle wicket. So that's it. Then if he changes is this, then suddenly he changes. What I do is, I will bowl the same ball. I won't change it because if I try to change it, that, that's what the batsman wanted me to do. Sometimes they do this, do that, but I bowl the same ball. Yeah, that's uh, especially in um, the shorter form games when they start moving around a lot. Some people do. Is that a Lehman? Oh yeah. Oh, he's a crazy man. <laughs> he walks like this, he walks like that. To hear what he talks about and to hear that the basics are pretty much the same with, as what we've been coaching um, gives me a lot of confidence and you know I was hanging off all, every word um, so it was a great, great experience for me too. They are very interested to learn and I'm selling some small, small adjustments and they're listening and they're coming well and uh, the results also there but they have to practice for a long time, not for a short time and leave it. Just keep on going then they will get better. Face Murley for the first time and uh, I will be honest, I think he did get me out a couple of times, but uh, he did say he had about nine fielders around the bat, so I just had to hit past there, I was getting a few runs, but uh, it was a great experience and a good challenge, and I definitely learnt a few things about my batting over here in these, in these conditions, so hopefully it will put me in good stead. Off it! <laughs>